hello welcome to sweet eclectic this is the channel where i do videos about whatever i want so i bought ruta sapetti's book you the the story the story you the story and it's a non-fiction book if you don't know anything about ruta sapetti's she's an extremely good historical fiction writer she's written between the shades of gray salt to the sea uh, Fountains of Silence, I Must Betray You, and she does like tons and tons of research, and she is incredible. And she came out with this book, and when I heard about it, I immediately pre-ordered it, and it came yesterday. And so I thought I would do a small video of me reading it and just kind of talk about it. So I'm about nine pages in, and this page, this quote really made me laugh because it was very relatable. My brother drowned my Barbie. I snuck into his room and farted. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Anyways, and so she's talking right now, she's talking about the difference between a diary and a journal. And she's saying that a diary has like someone's innermost desires, worries, uh, mistakes and then a journal is more like events and like in hopes that someone else will see this whereas a diary is like oh I hope no one ever sees this <laughs> and I find that very interesting I've never even thought of the that distinction but I definitely only wrote journals growing up <laughs> I never wrote because I was always concerned about what other people think of me I guess it's the Enneagram 3 in me where it's like I have to be concerned about what other people think of me at all times. But anyways, I'll catch in, check in later. So here, yeah, let's turn on the light. Hi! So I thought I would do a small little update on the Ruta Sepetti's book. Um, I'm really liking it. She's hilarious, <laughs> which is really funny because like her books are usually very serious. So I was expecting this to be very serious and like putting emotion and, and oomph behind your books, but she's hilarious. So I'm loving it. And she's doing like these little prompts throughout the whole thing. And I've opened up a Word document and I'm working through all of the prompts as well. And it actually helped me get jump started with my story so with my book I'm writing I have been kind of in like a writing slump for a few days because I kind of knew what to do but I just I, I kind of just needed an extra push and it helped me it helped me realize like what I wanted to do in my story and how I wanted to connect these two scenes together that I was trying to do and it was really exciting so I, I'm really liking it She's kind of doing like anecdotes, so you get to know her as a person and as a child, and then you get to know her as a writer as well, and what she likes to write about, and why she writes about such deep, heavy, tragic events, and then also why she loves to research. So it's just, it's, it's incredible. Like, I, I'm very, very much enjoying it, and, um... I'll tell you one story that I just love so much because it just shows how a character can evolve and how you can, she was talking about, um, I think it was conflict. No, it wasn't conflict. What was it? Backstory. So she was talking about backstory and how important it is and how something can, um, affect you from, uh, what am I trying to say? That backstory can actually affect your current decisions. So she talked about how she was 13 years old and she decided that she really wanted to be in charge of decorating her room. And so she chose all of these colors of brown and that's what she wanted because she felt like it was moody and dark and, and she just felt like that was like, it spoke to her soul. And, and so she's like, maybe that's why I do that. I like to cr surround myself with like dark. And she's like, as an adult, she doesn't do that. She wants light and happiness. But as an angsty teen, she needed that like darkness. <laughs> it's just a very good book. 
I really, really like it. So I'm about 50 pages through and I love it. It's everything I wanted it to be. Hello, it's been a long time. It is July 30th and I am done with you the story. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it. So it really helped me get through some writing slumps with writing my book and it just has like I was marking them with little tabs but I ran out of tabs and I just didn't really care to get more um, but I was marking all of the um, the recaps because I felt like those were important so each chapter has like a recap and then I was marking some of the writing prompts uh, and I really enjoyed it I would definitely recommend it to somebody just to kind of get you out of a writing slump. Uh, it really helped me and it also kind of helps you know Ruta Sapetis a little bit more because she's just incredible as a writer and she talks about like how you draw on emotion but you don't, yeah, you just draw on emotion and what has happened to you to kind of fuel the, the fire of your story and I think that's really cool because that's basically what I've been doing with my story that I'm writing right now. But yeah, I would I gave it four stars. I would give it five, but I, I rarely give nonfiction five stars because it, it needs to like, it like five stars to me is a feeling, not necessarily quantifiable. And it didn't give me that feeling. So four stars, I would definitely recommend it. And I just, I absolutely love this cover. Isn't that gorgeous? I just think it's so pretty. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.